I'm in VirtualBox 7. I'm going to show you how to create both an optical drive or DVD as well as a hard drive. So in case you need more storage or you need to add another optical drive, just click on Settings and make sure you've got your virtual machine shut off and selected before you do this. And then go to where it says Storage. Let's start with a hard drive. So I'll click the plus at the top and you see Adds Hard Drive is an option. So if I already have a hard drive, I can add it here. That means like if I've had a hard drive I've created for another virtual machine, I've maybe destroyed that virtual machine, but I'd like to add that hard drive here, then I can do that. But in most cases, that's not what you're going to do. You're going to create a hard drive. And when I click on create, a new virtual hard disk file type wizard shows up. Now choose the default that you see here. Choose the virtual box disk image. It is possible to choose some of these other ones like VHD for or Hyper-V and VMDK, but there's really no reason to do that when you're in VirtualBox already. So I'm going to choose the dynamic option. If I choose pre-allocate full size, it's going to be a fixed size drive, which means it's going to use 100% of the storage as soon as I select it. Now that does make things run faster, but if you're running short on hard drive space, you might run into a problem. So I'll click Next, and here's my option for the location of where the hard drive goes, as well as the size of the drive. Now, I don't want to make a big one because this is just for demonstration purposes, so I'll just choose a 5 gigabyte drive. And I'll click Finish. Now, you can see that it's not attached, so I do want to attach it. So I'm going to click Choose. Now, when I click Choose, it shows up in the list, and I can click OK. Now let me go back to the settings. I'll go back to storage. And when I go back in, now it shows that it is attached. And I can confirm that by clicking on the plus, and it shows it's attached. So even though it showed that it wasn't attached temporarily, it actually is attached. Now if I go to the optical drive, it's a little, it works a little differently. So first off, I need to add a, an ISO file, for instance. So I'll go to ISOs. I'll just add this Windows 10 Enterprise just for fun. So now I've got the Windows 10 Enterprise added in, but it's still not attached. So I do the same thing I did last time. I click on Choose. So I choose, and now it adds it into my list. Now I've got four things in here instead of just two. And now what I can do is click OK, go back into Settings, go to Storage, go to my plus again, and we can see my Windows 10 Enterprise DVD is now attached. So that's how we add both a storage device for hard drive as well as an optical drive as a DVD in VirtualBox 7.